have been lots of studies on this. We're talking about vitamin C and whether it prevents or treats colds. Many of you might be taking vitamin C for this reason. Um, I know I have taken vitamin C in the past to try to help a cold, but the question is, did it work? Does it actually help? Is this really a thing or are we just taking vitamin C for no good reason? Um, by the way, guys, there's tons of studies that have been done on this. I'm going to give you the answer, but you should know vitamin C is also called ascorbic acid. It's a really important thing that we need in our body because not only is it an antioxidant, but it helps us with the immune system. It helps with the absorption of other um, substances that we need. Um, it's super, super important. You can get it from supplements, from food, etc. So this is the thing, okay? For those of you who may be taking vitamin C to help prevent a cold, okay, I've got some bad, I got some bad news and then I've got some better news. The bad news is studies have shown that vitamin C does not necessarily prevent colds. Uh-huh. It doesn't necessarily lower your risk of getting a cold. But as I told you, I got some better news. Even though it may not lower your risk of getting a cold, uh, many studies have suggested that it actually can lower or rather shorten the time that you have a cold when you have it. Okay, so maybe instead of having a cold for like 10 days, you have it for nine days. Okay, so that is a little bit of a plus right there. Um, the other thing is it might also cause your symptoms to be a little bit milder than they would have been. So that's some good news as well. Now, this is a thing. The studies that have been done on this have said, yeah, okay, so it might do those things, but you can't start the vitamin C. You can't start taking it once you have your cold to have those benefits, okay? So this is the idea of you've been taking vitamin C, etc. cetera. Um, does it prevent colds, lower your risk? Um, not likely, but it may shorten the time you have colds. It may also make your symptoms more mild. There are also a few other things that have been found in some of the studies as well. Um, now, this is the thing. Um, you can take too much vitamin C, okay? And different studies have done, you know, done their research on different doses. Sometimes it's a thousand milligrams, sometimes it's other, others, etc. cetera. Uh, too much vitamin C can cause you to feel really weird in the tummy. It can give you nausea, it can give you cramps, it can give you diarrhea. So you gotta be very careful. It can do other things and have other uh, side effects. Also, remember, it is always possible for vitamins and minerals to interact with other supplements that you are taking, uh, as well as medications you might be taking too. Do not start taking vitamin C on your own without talking to your doctor because your doctor, based on what else you are taking, they might advise you not to do that, okay? They may say that for you, this is not the right thing or the best thing to do. So keep that in mind. So I want to know, did you guys know this about vitamin C? Um, again, it's mixed, you know? Um, will you take vitamin C still, even though it doesn't lower your risk, uh, but lowers the time you may have the cold and may cause milder symptoms? Like, what are you going to do with this information? Uh, have you been taking vitamin C? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos and all sorts of stuff, including stuff like this. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. And guys, check out my website. Got lots of stuff on the website. Go to drjencaudle.com. You can sign up for my free health newsletter and all sorts of other stuff, guys. I'm Dr. Jen, I'll see you soon.